Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at the last question of exercise 13.9 of chapter 13, Surface Areas and Volumes. So it states that the diameter of a sphere is decreased by 25%. Now so because of this decrease, obviously the curved surface area will also be affected. We need to find by what percent does it curved surface area decreases. So I'll say, let the original or the initial diameter because here we are talking about the diameter that decreases, right? So let the original diameter be D. But the curved surface area of the sphere or the surface area of sphere, it's always, the, uh, the formula is always in terms of the radius. So we'll find the radius. Therefore, original radius Radius will be what? Diameter divided by 2. And now we are talking about the decrease in the curved surface area. So having given the diameter and the radius, let's find what is the original curved surface area. So original curved surface area is going to be 4 pi r square, which is going to be 4 pi r square is nothing but d upon 2 the whole square. Let's mark this as 1. Now Moving further with the decrease in the diameter. So the diameter is reduced by 25%. That means now on decreasing diameter, sorry, it is 25%. By 25%, the new diameter will be what? Will be the original diameter D minus 25%, right? So 25 upon 100 into D, correct? See, the new diameter will always be the original diameter. Let's say if I had 10 cookies earlier and I have reduced the number of cookies by 3, then the new number and the new amount of cookies that I will have is 10 minus 3, which is 7. The same thing is happening here. We have the original, so the new diameter is also decreasing, right? So it will be the original diameter minus whatever is the decrease. So the decrease is 25%. 25% is 25 upon 100. But 25% of what? So D. So whenever I say, let's say X percent. X percent of Y. What does this mean? We write X percent in terms of a fraction, which means X upon 100. And of is nothing but multiplication sign. So here it is 25%. So 25% into of D. Got it? So this is going to be D minus 25 ones are 25 fours are. 1 upon 4 D. So this becomes 4 D minus D upon 4. What did we do here? We took the LCM. So this is going to be 3 D divided by 4. So this is the decreased radius. Therefore the, dec uh, sorry, decreased diameter. So the decreased radius will be what? 3 upon 4 into d by 2, correct? Therefore, decreased radius is going to be 3 upon 4 into d by 2, which is 3 upon 8 d. But again, we are talking about the decrease in of the curved surface area. So here we will write, therefore, decreased curved surface area of sphere is equal to 4 pi r square. r is what? 3 upon 8 d. So 3 upon 8 d, the whole square. So let's write this down, 4 pi, okay, so 3 square is 9 and 8 square is 64 d square. 4 ones are 4, 4 sixteens are. So what do you get? 9 pi d square upon 16. This is the decreased curved surface area. Let's mark this as 2. So now we have the original curved surface area and decreased curved surface area. We need to find the percent in decrease. So the percent decrease of anything is given by original 
value minus decrease value upon original value this entire thing into 100 similarly percent decrease percent decrease in curved surface area of sphere will be what it will be 1 minus 2 upon 1 into 100 so what is 1 1 is this 2 is that let's substitute the value and find the solution so this is going to be equal to 4 pi d square c this is d upon 2 the whole square let us just rewrite this over here this is 4 pi d square upon 4 so 4 and 4 will get cancelled 4 ones are 4 ones are so this will be what pi d square mm. let me shift this a little bit over here this is equal to 4 pi d square upon 4 so 4 ones are 4 ones are this is equal to pi d square let's mark this as 1 now it becomes much more simple so this is equal to pi d square minus 9 pi d square upon this is upon 16 upon pi d square just rewriting it just to accommodate space pi d square minus 9 pi d square upon 16 upon pi d square into 100 please take a look at this part of the board so that I can uh, erase this section ok so now we are going to take the LCM this is percent decrease so this is equal to 16 pi d square minus 9 pi d square upon 16 this entire thing upon pi d square into 100 so 16 minus 9 is 7 7 pi d square upon 16 upon pi d square into 100 now this is nothing but a upon b divided by c which means a upon b multiplied by 1 upon c so we can this is a upon b and this is c right a b and c so we can rewrite this as 7 pi d square upon 16 into 1 upon pi d square into 100 got it So pi d square and pi d square will cancel out ones are ones are and you get 7 into 100 upon 16. So let's check 16 uh, 4 4s are 16 4 2s are 8 and 4 5s are 20. So 7 into 25 divided by 4. So 5 4 uh, 5 7s are 7 5s are 35 7 2s are 14 14 plus 3 is 17 175 divided by 4. So let's cancel. 4 1s are 4, 4 4s four are 16, 17, 4 3s are 12, 13, 14, 4, 175, divide by 4, 4 4s are 16, 4 3s are 12, 4 7s are 28, 29, 30, 4 5s are 20, so 43.75. This is the percent decrease surface area, so the unit will be percentage, 43.75%. So I'll finally write the answer. The curved surface area of sphere will decrease by 43.75%. Forty three point seven five per cent. So please take a look at the solution and the calculation as well.
Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.